All right, thanks, Kent. Uh, credit to Texas Tech on the win today. Uh, you know, disappointing loss for our team. Um, you know, I thought there were certainly some areas uh, that were much improved uh, for, our, for our program today. Um, come out the second half, able to get the lead, go up by five with nine to play. I believe we held them to 10 points the first 11 minutes of the second half uh, and did a good job of, from an execution standpoint. Um, but then just some of the attention to detail, had some breakdowns, uh, missed a free throw box out that led to a three-point play, uh, got us into some foul trouble. And then we weren't able to get stops down the stretch, and we weren't able to knock down shots. So uh, credit to Texas Tech on the win. Uh, Tech was 3 of 23 against West Virginia from threes. Did you feel like – won't leave their guys open because the same guy in the corner hit like four or five threes. Was it? You felt like you were playing the percentages like they were going to cool off sooner or later. No, we didn't. Didn't want to leave them open and, and let them get open looks. I thought Obanor hit two there early uh, to get them started. They end up making seven uh, in the first half. Uh, Walton, the guy coming in, you know, off the bench, had been a role player, went into the starting starting role. Uh, we missed an assignment in the first half on our zone. He knocked down a three, and then he hit the two killers in the corner. Uh, and then the last one, unfortunately, I thought it was a hustle play. We gambled for a steal, led to a scramble, and, and he knocked another one down there. So, uh, no, that wasn't the plan. Um, you know, we did go under Harmon's ball screen, and, and he hit one late in the shot clock, and then he hit one contested late on, on a shot clock that was a heck of a shot. Matt, when KJ got his um, hit the three pointer to give you a five point lead, and then 15 seconds later he got the fourth foul, um, did it seem like something kind of went out of your team a little bit because you missed about I think 10 in a row after that? Yeah, we really struggled to score at the, from that point forward uh, when he went out, and and he didn't have his most efficient day clearly from two point range, uh, but just I thought the flow of the offense was a lot better uh, when he was on the floor. Um, but again, you look, you go back to the free throw box out, they convert that into an, an and one, uh, and then they hit the two threes. And, you know, obviously we were trying to get Adam Miller as many looks as we could. I thought, you know, it was great to see him shoot the ball well uh, from three today. Uh, they did a good job. They were switching out to deny him on a lot of his catches. And then uh, when they switched their five man onto him, wanted to space the floor and let him drive it, and that lead to some playmaking opportunities. But at the end of the day in the second half, we're 32% from the, from the field and 23 from three. And, um, you know, it's just not good enough to win. Coach, you just sort of touched on Adam Miller's performance. Uh, how, how do you think this helps him uh, moving forward? Well, I thought he did a great job of, of freeing himself up. Uh, was able to get three in transition. Uh, was able to get a couple threes in, in the, on the ball screen reads. And, you know, I, I hope it'll, it'll be a big step forward for him. He's, he's really been competing at a high level. I think he's done a great job on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, it's good to see the ball go in the basket for him today. Yeah, Coach, uh, Texas Tech had 10 of their 15 offensive rebounds in the second half. I mean, how much of a, of a backbreaker was that considering all the second chance points they had? Yeah, I, I think it was a huge thing. I, I think you look at the last – you know, ten, uh, nine minutes of the game, some of the things that have really hurt us uh, during this, this difficult stretch uh, came right back to the forefront. You know, miss free throw box out, some other second shot opportunities. Uh, did a better job taking care of the ball in the second half, but still had a couple key turnovers uh, when we needed an opportunity to score. Uh, and then just our overall you know, inability to, to score consistently in those last nine minutes, and, and, and that was the difference in the game. Yeah, Coach, from a pace perspective, uh, it looked like y'all were able to get a little bit more up-tempo. Uh, was that a plan? Uh, was that an emphasis going in, and just what allowed that to happen? Well, it's definitely been an emphasis for us. You know, the key is you have to get defensive stops, and I thought we did a better job spacing the floor in transition that led to some more efficient scoring opportunities there. Uh, but to the, the last question, you know, you give up second shot opportunities, uh, 10 of them in the second half. Those are chances you don't get to uh, get out and run. 
and attack in transition. So, uh, you know, I thought we did a much better job getting to transition uh, when we were able to get stops. You, you talked, um, I guess, Thursday about maybe hitting the reset button. Now that you hit the reset button, did you maybe find some things out today that can help you, obviously, in the next 10 games? Well, sure. No, I'm disappointed we lost the game. I mean, that's why you play. Uh, we didn't do a good enough job uh, in the last nine minutes to give ourselves the opportunity to win. And that, that's, that's the most disappointing part of it. I do think if I step away, and we'll watch the film, obviously, but when I step away, I thought we played with more urgency at both ends of the floor um, for the majority of the game. I thought we were more connected as a team um, for the majority of the game. Um, but at the end of the day, it, it still wasn't good enough. But now I think you take that, you know, playing with great urgency, competing on every possession, that's the price of admission. And now the attention to detail in the scouting reports, running three-point shooters off the line, finishing possessions with defensive rebounds, taking care of the basketball, all of those things have to be done at a higher level uh, as we move forward. Coach, with the return of Juice on the floor, what did you see from him? Well, that was a big three that he hit there uh, in an opportune time. They went and trapped Ace. Uh, and I thought Ace did a great job of, of making the right decision. Juice got to the right outlet spot, and I was happy to see uh, that shot go down for, for him. I think it gives us um, you know, another option at the point with speed and athleticism uh, that, that can run the team. So you know, it's good to have him back and, and look forward to him working his way back uh, from a conditioning standpoint and, and moving forward with our team. Okay, thank you. Thank you.